Good morning. We're here for you live in Lanhenock, the beautiful Lanhenock. We're actually pre-recorded, but pre-recorded from Lanhenock doesn't have the same ring really, does it? So I thought I'd bring you up here today, social distancing, mindful, and just give those of you who are going a bit stir crazy at home a good look. Our beautiful parish in our beautiful diocese here in Lanhenock. It's, it's a bit rainy, but we love rain. It's what keeps our, our land lush. And there we are for all of you who just want a bit of outdoors. What a stunning view. Well, today we're here in Lanhenock Parish. I brought you up to St. John's, our church in Lanhenock. And I thought today I'd read you a little bit of a poem. A poem that I came across many, many years ago. But I was sent it again just recently. It's a lovely poem and it really got me thinking. So I'm going to share it with you today and I hope it brings joy to your hearts too. A minister passing through his church in the middle of the day decided to pause by the altar and see who had come to pray. Just then the back door opened, a man came down the aisle. The minister frowned as he saw the man hadn't shaved in a while. His shirt was kind of shabby and his coat was worn and frayed. The man knelt, he bowed his head, then rose and walked away. In the days that followed, each noontime came this chap. Each time he knelt, just for a moment, a lunch pail in his lap. Well, the minister's suspicions grew with robbery a main fear. He decided to stop the man and ask him, what are you doing here? The old man said he worked down the road. Lunch was half an hour. Lunchtime was his prayer time for finding strength and power. I stay only moments, see, because the factory's so far away. As I kneel here talking to the Lord, this is kind of what I say. I just came again to tell you, Lord, how happy I've been since we found each other's friendship and you took away my sin. Don't know much about how to pray, but I think about you every day. So Jesus, this is Jim checking in today. The minister feeling foolish told Jim that was fine. He told the man he was welcome to come and pray any time. Time to go, Jim smiled and said thanks. He hurried to the door. The minister knelt at the altar, he'd never done it before. His cold heart melted, warmed with love, and met with Jesus there. As the tears flowed in his heart, he repeated old Jim's prayer. I just came again to tell you, Lord, how happy I've been since we found each other's friendship and you took away my sin. I don't know much of how to pray, but I think about you every day. So Jesus, this is me checking in today. Past noon one day, the minister noticed that old Jim hadn't come. As more days passed without Jim, he began to worry some. At the factory, he asked about him, learning he was ill. The hospital staff was worried, but he'd given them a thrill. The week that Jim was with them brought changes in the ward. His smiles a joy contagious. Changed people were his reward. The head nurse couldn't understand why Jim was so glad. When no flowers, calls or cards came, not a visitor he had. The minister stayed by his bed. He voiced the nurse's concern. No friends came to show they cared. He had nowhere to turn. Looking surprised, old Jim spoke up with a winsome smile. The nurse is wrong, she couldn't know. He's in here all the while. Every day at noon he's here, a dear friend of mine you see. He sits right down, takes my hand, leans over and says to me, I just came again to tell you, Jim, how happy I have been since we found this friendship and I took away your sin. Always love to hear you pray. I think about you each day. And so, Jim, this is Jesus checking in today. I love that poem because so many of us, so many of you are just going stir crazy at home. I've heard so much about so, how so many of you feel about not being able to come to our wonderful churches and come and worship together in the actual building. 
some of you have said it just doesn't feel right you don't feel right your days don't feel right you're stuck at home and not being able to come into the church building to light a candle say a prayer worship together as the family that we are but i think that that prayer just reminds us all it doesn't matter where we are it doesn't matter what building we're in you know times like this really do remind us that even stuck at home doing the dishes or sitting on the sofa christ is with us you know that never changes no matter what building we're in or can't get in and so i thought i'd share that poem with you this morning just to hopefully lift your hearts a little bit because if jesus can visit jim in a hospital bed and check in with him there he can visit us on the sofa and check in with us so today let Christ, hold your hand on the sofa or where you're doing the dishes and let him love you. Stay safe and God bless.